guys, it's Laura and Bo behind the camera. How are you doing? October 2021, we're headed up to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show to look at some boats. Um, even though we're not looking to purchase for about three to five years out, what we look at today is probably what we're going to purchase then. So uh, looking maybe not for a huge liveaboard, but something that is going to be comfortable enough to do the loop on, uh, spend some time in the Bahamas. Uh, our, our retirement is hopefully, if things go right, going to be on the water for us. <laughs> And that, what you heard back there was the girls. We're also going to look at both outboards and inboards. I prefer outboards and I want the fishability, but I think we may have the compromise. We're going to see. We're going to look at a bunch of different boats. Dude, that was kind of awesome the way that worked out. Yeah. Yeah. So. It worked out really well, considering I believe the tickets were $37 each. electric I wanted to get the gladiators we walk in here at the beginning of the boat show and there is one two three four five gladiators and a Bronco over there in the rear that are Pretty awesome actually, look at this thing here. It looks like something you didn't see back in the military days. My wife is looking at the black one. I think she's gonna wanna modify the Gladiator. Yeah. Excuse me. That thing right there is just over the top. Well, you looking at, yeah, those are the same ones same we have. the steps that I have on mine. So we don't have to, you know, spend less than what, three hundred dollars. Here's the new Bronco, <laughs> four door version. Looks like it's sitting on thirty fives too. It is definitely. I should have worn my Jeep mask. Yeah, you should have worn your Jeep mask. Check out that fountain. Holy cow. Quad 450s. That's nice. Could we take a look at your Swift Trawler 41? No, of course. Just gotta check you in really quick. Well, we're gonna end up giving a lot of our information out. I know, and it's all under my, you know what we need to do is we need to create a boat email yeah. strictly for So I'm going to have to unsubscribe to every single one yeah. of these when I start getting stuff. Excuse us, please. Cool. Yeah, but this would be on our range. Size-wise, yeah. Yeah, mistaken. These boats are due. You do both do up to 20 knots. Yeah, the swift trawlers. Yeah. I wouldn't do a, I don't think I want a regular, but a swift would be fine. Yeah. We can go up around the front or go up on the bridge. It's actually relatively wide, it which is, is nice. Um, it is. And it's got the starboard pilot door, and that thing is actually huge. Not to mention that this gunnel this came up to my hip almost. This is actually really nice and high. Do what? This is super nice and high. Yeah. This is probably about my favorite 
walk around area that we've been on. I um, know. This is nice. You got two anchor lockers, windless. I'm not sure. Is this one offset? I think it's maybe offset yes, just a little to bit. T90. Maybe a little but, bit. Um, for the most part, you've got your lounger, your sitting, seating. We won't really use it, but maybe oh, in a nice yeah, cool morning with coffee. I can say you could put some lounger chairs up here and it would be nice to lounge out. Yeah. Especially if you're in some good weather. Yeah. I was gonna say, ton of sunlight, maybe not, but yeah, it's a little bit more narrow over here on the port side. Yeah. But you can still transverse it. Transverse it, pretty easy. You what? I said it's a little bit more narrow, but you can transverse it fairly easy. Galley up. Galley up. Yeah, galley up. Right here as you step off the half cup. Well, and it's, it's nice, nice because it's directly off the back. So. Yeah. It's really nice. You can go up top. I think most of what we've looked at is galley forward or galley down. Yeah. So. This is the first galley aft that we've looked at. Huh? First galley aft that we've looked at. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Up on. Flybridge, you got a deck up here also. Watch I'm your step not going coming up. There. Upper helm, plenty of seating. And enclosure. She ain't coming up here. But your upper helm, you got two displays. Throttle control, oh, both this engines. Oh, this is nice. It is nice. This is really nice up Love here. Love this interior. And you got an awesome view from the helm station. Oh yeah. You'd have no problem here. Especially if you stood up and drove, was driving. Yeah, it's got the bolstered seat, so. Yeah, bolstered seat so you can sit upon it. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a little galley back here. Yeah. Well, not a galley. Yeah, actually, you Is got it? your sink oh, yeah. and you've got a grill. Okay, we got a grill. Uh, gas, I believe. Got your little refrigerator. Yeah, little refrigerator. Um, trash. We'll call that an ice bucket. <laughs> I'm gonna call yeah. it a trash can. And a Kenyan electric <laughs> grill. And a yep. windbreak. Little sink. You're right. Upper galley. Yep. Got to like this for barbecues. Yeah. Especially on those evenings when we're on the loop and we don't want to go put in or we don't want to just go into town. We can cook a meal right here and see everything there is to see for miles away. Yeah. And I would imagine that you can get awnings if you want a little bit of shade or you can yeah. sit in there. It doesn't matter. This is nice. The lower helm is actually set up pretty nice too. You hear me? No, I didn't hear you. I said the lower helm was set up really nice. My mic's on, just making sure. Look at the specs, see what the actual top speed is. Yeah. I'm thinking. And the storage. Oh, that's the fridge. Yeah, and I have a and the feeling. The freezer up top. Yes, and that yep. may be an ice maker. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to guess that one may be an I ice maker. No oh, no, no, no. We're just... Tiny yeah, TV. TV. Yeah, you can put a bigger TV. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go downstairs and get okay. the burst before too many people get in here. Before it gets too... Yeah. Because I have to stay seating. a pretty good ways from you. Two people, bolstered, yep, two people nice. The helm seating. All right, so this is, oh, you got your washer dryer down here and oh. your single. Um, not a whole lot of room, but. All right, let me go in here. It'd be perfect for storage. Oh, it'd be perfect for the girls too. Yeah. And you, like you said, the washer and dryer right there. 
plenty of storage. Yeah. You've got um here. You've got a pretty good and here's hanging the restroom closet. with a head. And it looks like this here, Laura. Yeah. Is a wet head. Yeah. It's a wet head? Yeah, this is a wet head. So I imagine there's another head somewhere. No. En suite maybe. This is it. There's your probably your is that a bathroom or a Hold on, let me just. Yes. This is the okay. other bathroom. Is it. And it looks to be a wet head also. Okay, that's kind of odd for a boat this size. Storage. No, I don't think this is a wet head. There is no shower in here. No shower in there. No, so I'm going to say this is the shower. That's toilet and sink. And there's your shower. Shower's on the starboard side. Yep. Oh, okay. So the shower is totally separate from the head. Um. Okay, I don't think there's anything down here that we want to look at. Well, more down this way. Yeah? Yeah, it was a lot tighter in there than I thought it would be. We've been all over these. This is the... Big Ranger tie. Yeah. It's bigger than anything we've been on. I think this is the new 39. This is a 40 foot gallon. Galleon? Galleon, yeah. Is it not on? Yes, it's on. And it's got a, a little command bridge up there. Yeah. It looks like both the aft gunnels go hydraulically lower. Got an aft grill. Pretty good sized little swim platform. See, Laura's fixing to pay, I don't know. Ten dollars, twelve dollars for a bottle of water. Boy, what we do to come here and look at the boats. Make a day of it. There's that 50 foot cruiser yacht we just looked at. Out of that thing. Here's some of your day boats or weekend or weekenders. Not exactly what you would be able to spend any time on as far as staying it, but my God, it'd be nice to have. And here we are coming up on Genoa. Everything from their small leader, center console, which we're just now getting into. Hopefully we're going to see that 1095 NC that we've been looking for. And I believe we have it right here. And here's the Benetow right next this, to yeah, it. Yeah, the Benetow so right next to it. We and there's can the catch 1095 those right there. So, you want to see if we can get a walk through on a 1095? That's a little swim platform. I'm going to walk down the starboard side here. Like I say, you got this nice handhold. You've got the starboard door right here at the cockpit. And some really nice seating. Don't mind, do you? No, no. Good. Yeah, you got to figure out which one. Have cockpit with seating, seating. U seating. When the motors go down, the bench goes back, so you get even more seating. Yeah. And I think these completely come out, don't they? Yeah, they slide no, that forward. That corner comes out. They're all options. It's like you only have two rod holders. You can obviously have more put in. Then you have your galley. Um, 
relatively deep. Again, not to live on, but to do the loop. Trash. Or, honestly, I'd, yeah. Yeah, you just put it over here. It's just oh, more that's storage. Nice. Yeah. They ain't got a whole forward area up there. We need to move forward locks. Yeah. That one's a little bit stuck. Trying to figure out what boat we want, and we're looking at a bunch of different ones, trying to get some video. Okay, I'm gonna guess this one has to be the fridge. There we go. Here's your fridge, yeah. Is this the one that has the larger down in the second? It's got the larger mid berth, and the forward berth is a queen, and it's got a dry head, I believe. Yeah. Let me right there. I think this is standard. That looks like a 16 inch display a Garmin. Yeah. Helm controls. Bow and stern. Side thrusters. <laughs> yeah. The zip wake instead of trim tabs. Yes. Plenty of standing room. And you know, you could sleep two people down here, especially little ones or the girls. For that matter, be the third berth right here. And I believe on this, this actually pulls out and yeah, there's it does. a filler cushion, so you get a lot more length on here. Um, so it is tight, but it would work. Yeah, uh, for just the two of us. Links here to the dry head. The girls would have to get their own room. A porcelain sink, it looks like. But, uh, That's more of a single berth, but. Yeah. Yeah, that bed pulls out. I think you get another eight inches. Yeah. The Beneteau are. the 795. We actually looked at these. This is more, this is the pilot house. This is the fishing version right here. It's got the live well and everything on it. I mean, thing is, this is a 2022, I'm sure. But 42 isn't much different than, how you doing? 42 is not much different than the 41. It's almost 14 beam. 14 foot beam? Yeah, Overall 43 two with swim platform. Beautiful boat. Twin diesel. I'm sure. Bridge clearance is more than low enough for the loop. Right. It's got to be under 17. <laughs> this one's not. Yeah. Yeah, under 17. Yeah. If you want to go around the Michigan side. Right. Yeah. I want to make sure that. What we get, we'll do any part of it we choose. We're going to have to go with the minimum draft and the minimum height clearance. That is true. Um, that way we can take our choice or make our choice. Yeah. So. Dude, I love these snap in mats. Mm -hmm. Me too. That Makes is life easy. So, yeah, it does. Because you can plop them down when you're living and you can take them out when you're. And I, I like that really wide opening there. Yeah. Cooler storage underneath. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay, you got the galley back, which I like. Yeah. It's not as AC big. Kicks. It's not as big as that trawler we looked at, actually. No, but you're right. There's less up here, which yeah. means there's more down there. More downstairs. There. Yeah. Um, so and that looks like more like a little lounge. This is, yeah. This is more of a little lounge Fine. chair here, which is actually rather nice. 
Oh, see. Especially when you're on the way. You got your TV there, which will kick over here. Yeah. Well, the yeah, you can lounge on either side. Yeah. That'll be mine, though. Um, yeah. I like the... Flat glass. Yep. On your garments. Obviously. Step up. The only thing this is missing is it'd be nice to have that side door right there on the starboard side. Yeah, it does look like narrow And that's walkways. an awful lot of space up there that you would think could have been used for something. Um, we would find a neat, nice way for storage. A little too much carpeting for me, but it's going to soundproof it. Okay. Cool, so, hi. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Damn it. That this is nice. Is really nice. Yeah. Um You want me to move? Down there, yeah. Down there. All right. So, this would be uh, the guest bedroom. It has TV. It's got actually a really nice sofa area. Plenty of storage. Yeah. Uh, head clearance is actually pretty good. Much nicer on on this one than some of the its smaller brethren. Is that I believe a hanging closet? And in that area right there, you can actually okay. Stand up. It is a hanging closet. You get it? Yeah. Okay. And then you cannot see what I'm looking at, but I'm, there's some cabinets. Okay, this is control panel. Yeah, yeah, I'll look at those on the way out. Yeah, I'll let you have those. There's a door into the head behind here, but I'm not gonna open it because I'd have to shut this one. Yeah. Um, it's a dry head and a really nice size for the shower I mean I'm on my tippy toes and I'm not hitting the ceiling so and then like you said you have the door yep. Whoops. yeah going into the other berth yep. then of course the main berth which is actually nice and spacious especially at the front of the bed you actually got a good 14 inches, 16 inches worth of space to walk around. Um, we have... Hanging closet. Not very large, but it's there. Yeah, but On it's longer. Sides. A lot of them, some of the ones we looked at were tiny short. So the yeah. fact that it's got it on both. It has a little bit of a shelf in here. If you want to hold anything. There's not really much other storage up. But down here we have four drawers, and then I don't even have to ask. I'm sure this comes up. Lifts up. And there's plenty of storage. And then the master head. Again, it's a dry head. Yeah, that on your port and side, but you got the shower on your starboard side. Yes. So glass doors, they pin back. So you don't have to worry about them banging. Nice. Yeah. Not much of a seat in here. You're not going to sit down unless, well. Well, you got plenty of headroom though. <laughs> Probably six, five, six, seven. Still yeah. fit in there. Oh yeah. No problem. All of them. Yeah. Tiptoes, and I'm five seven, so. Yep. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Is but that thing is massive. That one, the bow opens up. Oh, yeah. And he's got a 130 EC120 on it. Oh. There you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, we're on our way out. On our way out. It's been about four hours. I'm tired. Like the uh, advertisement said, it's the largest in water boat show, which means you still got to walk around a couple of miles 
to look at everything from the small dinghies to the super yachts and the sport fishing yachts. Yep, very true and uh, as cool as it is, it's very hot out here and very muggy. So, hope you enjoyed it. We did. We'll see you next time.